if I look this good in a hundred years, that that is that is a plus. <laughs> that would be amazing. and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jasmine chiswell and today's video we're going to talk about something extra special so as you guys know as i've said a lot of times i think in like maybe all my videos is that i collect a lot of vintage pieces like a lot of pieces from a lot of different eras a lot of different things so like i don't know i'm trying to see if i don't have lipstick on my teeth <laughs> i just put lip gloss on and sometimes you know that way it just feels like it might go on your teeth <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, so I collect a lot of things from like old makeup, old handbags, old hairbrushes, just like a lot of old things. But I have really some really really old things in my collection that I have had for not as long as some other things. But I am so happy to have them and my just to own them, and I really want to share them with you. So I, this video is really going to be about some of the rare items that I have in my vintage collection. So without further ado, you guys, let's get started with the video. So I was out this morning. I would say I got up at like four in the morning. Don't ask why, I don't really know. <laughs> I was up and I honestly couldn't sleep and I tried to fall back asleep and I ended up watching some YouTube videos and catching up with some work. And I woke up and I was like, okay, we have to go meet Maverick's dad. And honestly, I feel so burst today. <laughs> like honestly, like my hair started to fall out because it's been so warm. And yeah, we're just running about picking up things for him. And honestly, you guys, it's only like 11 a.m. <laughs> and I'm already like, it's time for bed. <laughs> I'm like so done with today, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not though, because we have a video to film. So I know you guys are probably asking me, like Jasmine, if it's vintage and of course the items are rare because you can't get them anymore, they're not manufactured anymore. And they're usually like one of a kind because not everybody had them and also not everybody kept them so i understand that but these items are like a hundred year old plus so they are really really old <laughs> it must be so weird like i said to my husband the other day so i have this bag that i'm going to show you guys which is really really cute but let me show you all yet <laughs> so i said to my husband the other day i was like okay so i have this bag just the bag that i use every single day and i'm like so is someone in like a hundred years going to be like this is a hundred year old bag like that's so bizarre it's just like weird to think about but like i guess that's kind of what's happening because i have these items now and another thing that people have asked me about is so when i buy these old items they say but does it come with like the person so i know that sounds really weird but it's like it's if they're like ghost comes with them and i, I don't know but like that makes me out. i'm like i don't think so like we've we've got a lot of vintage pieces and we had them even in our old house and there was nothing going on um, but and I do know that this house we're in, which is Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio's home, it is haunted on its own. <laughs> because it was haunted like, it was like making like weird things happen, like weird noises happen, even before we moved our vintage stuff in. So yeah, <laughs> so I don't know, but we haven't had any issues with our stuff, but I know some people have said to me that maybe you should cleanse it or something like that. So with a lot of my items, I do clean them up just to keep them in as best condition as I can. Um, but again, you don't know, that like, could have been someone's possession that they absolutely loved. And I don't know, like, I don't know. Do you think it's weird? Like, I don't know. Is that a thing? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think that if you have old items of someone else that maybe their ghost or something comes along with them? I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. <laughs> Please don't scare me though. <laughs> so let's look into this bag even more. So here is the bag here. It is so pretty. I did make a TikTok about it, which I will put here so you guys can see it. Um, but it is such a pretty bag. So these are like little sack bags. I just call it a little sack bag because it's kind of what they are and it is beady so th this would have been hand beady it, like in the light it looks really kind of like blue purples i love the pinky red going on um and there's a nice little design um and then it has this little bit tassel at the bottom there and it's just an amazing condition when i look around it all like there's there's nothing that i can really report to say okay there's a lot of damage there is a little bit maybe there where you can see there's a little red kind of hem but it, all in all, it is in really, really good condition. And the random thing, the thing that I really like the most, like even though it's such a pretty bag, I was like, this is so random. It comes with like a little string to hold it. So someone must have just been holding it or they put it on their hand or their arm. 
um, but it's such a cute bag and again it is pretty heavy I'm not gonna lie it is a really heavy bag so this bag is a hundred years old it is from the 1920s we don't know the exact date um, but we do know that is a 20s bag it is an amazing condition for a hundred years like if I look this good in a hundred years that that is, that is a plus <laughs> That would be amazing. It is in immaculate condition. Um, actually, when you put this little thing in the middle here, like in the light, it has a little bit of a green thing. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> so to get into this bag, you just lower the clasp. Okay, am I doing this right? Yeah. You lower this clasp down and you lift the lid up. And it kind of pops open. Um, and inside it has this, oh, it's not gonna let you see. <laughs> inside it has this really nice, kind of like, it's like a kind of silk, but it is ripped a little bit. But it's like a pinky, red, purpley kind of color. And it is just a hollow bag. There is no zip or any compartments inside. There is the tag from when I got it. Um, it's called a Blue Carnival Glass Beads um, Beauty Tassel Purse. And it is from the 20s. And I got it from Play Clothes Vintage. So you guys, I also love this store. This is like the first vintage clothing store that I ever went to and I still love it I still go to it this day it's in Burbank in California so if you're ever in California you have to check it out and also um, they have an Etsy store and uh, an Instagram <laughs> so you can also check out their stuff there we have a lot of things and they also do a lot of costumes for a lot of movies and things like that which is really cool. so basically this is the purse actually not that bad size like if you think about it, my hands really small though but like it's not that bad um it fits a lot of things i would say in it because i feel like with these kind of bags it kind of expand a little bit but i don't think i'll be putting too much in it i'm like already scared to use this bag as it is it just feels i don't know it feels like a piece of history that i couldn't even bring myself <laughs> to use but maybe i will to maybe a special event but it's so pretty you guys it's definitely one of my favorite vintage items that i own for sure so you guys, let's look at the second item that I want to show you. Oh my god, I just ran up the stairs and I'm out of breath, you guys. <laughs> what is happening? And my friend is like slowly giving up on me today. So <laughs> we're just going to have to make do with what's going on. So this is the other item that I want to show you guys. So here it is. It is tiny. Like in my hand, it is tiny. Um, my hand's so dirty. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Um, so here it is, it's a little metal and this was a coin purse. So it is really cute, it has these little details here, little ball details. And this would have been used as a coin purse. So this bag is from the 1880s, so it is, what, 140 years old? Is that right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this bag is 140 years old and it is from the 1880s and it has like amazing design. Like you can see like the kind of flowers going around the outside there it is really fragile like I don't really want to use it to be honest with you like I got it just to have in my collection um, because the seller was actually just selling it for I think we got it for like $30 which is insane it's something that is so old I just thought maybe a museum would want it but no no one wanted it um, so my husband and I won it um, well we paid for it but it was on a bid and I just think it's so amazing and basically it opens up like right here we do need to actually this one we just got recently um and we do need to like give it a clean i know you can get like silver polish and things like that to clean it up um but inside as you can see you can see the silver's better in the inside um and it's just a little coin purse so it looks like chain mail and things like that but is such a cute little bag and honestly i wish they still made coin purses like this nowadays but it just shows you that things can withstand the time like, I don't even know if bags these days would withstand like 140 years, like, or even 100 years. I have no idea. But I just think this is so delicate, so pretty. And again, it's 140 years old. It is so rare. And I have been looking everywhere for a purse like this online just to see what it looks like and things like that. Because I love learning about history and learning about fashion and things like that. So it's just really cute. And it's just to think that someone was holding this. <laughs> like... Can you imagine walking around and you're holding your bag and this is it? But honestly, to be this probably would just have been in someone's purse so in someone's bag already. This was just to hold their coins. Um, but I just think it's so insane. It's so small. And I did make a TikTok about it, which I will put here. But I just wanted to show you guys this because this is such a rare item that 
I was like, I have to share with you guys. I shared on my TikTok. I have to talk about it in, in more detail for you guys on YouTube, but it is amazing. Like it's so pretty um, in the design and everything. So that is this little bag. Um, I'm surprised that these little balls have stayed to be honest with you because it looks like like something like that nowadays would just fall off. Like I remember as a kid having bags and like little beads or little something like even if it's dangling anything would just fall off like instantly that was like the first thing that would fall off if any of you guys can <laughs> relate please let me know in the comments but yeah but this is insane so yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe i'm nearly at 50k i am so excited and i can't thank you guys enough thank you all so so much and don't forget to check me on instagram just at jasmine cheswell and at tiktok at jasmine cheswell so yeah <laughs> Um, I hope you have a great day and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Bye.